When you talk about the growing Nigerian entertainment industry, the focus usually is always on the music and movie appendages of the industry. The story is however changing as these young energetic dancers have gradually established the art of dancing within the mainstream arm of entertainment. They are the dance now the main theme group. Formed by my colleague Bilabo in 2003, this group has over the years metamorphosed from playing backups to notable singers including Bank W, Dari Altaladi, Rocket Man, Whiskey, Shei Shei and many others to now performing as lead acts at major events. We started way back then with videos of Eureka, Sonny Neji, Rocket Man Baraje, until now we're still pulling up at Odin Strong. DNMT um, comprises of very talented dancers. Uh, like I said, the team has been around for a long time, so we've had dancers that have gotten married, some have settled down, some are doing other businesses. So year in year out, new talents come up every day. So this is a team that I got in not long ago, like five, six years back, and they're still strong. We have, they're all students, all hustling, everybody working for ends, mates, taking care of the family. So I respect them a lot and I'm, I'm privileged working with them. First of all, there's the ability and there's the ability. Meaning, um, God has blessed most of us with the gift to dance. We, we turned it into a, we, we had it as a hobby. And from there, decided to move forward into work more on it. And um, we started making money from it. So um, for those that have the ability, <laughs> we teach, we get. So it's not easy, but it takes days and weeks of rehearsals to come up on stage. And it's not easy to wow the crowd now, there's you no know, really old matter going on, dollar, strike, everywhere. So it's very difficult trying to, we don't, we don't tend to impress, but we tend to make people happy anytime they watch dance. They get enlightened, they get happy, they get strengthened, and they scream. So it takes God's mercies as well. Let's go. Over the years, as some members grew out of the group, new dance enthusiasts enlist, keeping the group going. One of them is Michael Obi, who specializes in making a Michael Jackson impression. I'm a big fan of MJ, really, from, from my tender age. I started as a hobby, as, a, as one of his number one fans, and all of a sudden started developing his skills and, you know, with constant practice, and I just found myself doing it. Recreating the sequences of the legendary king of pop comes with immense pressure for Obi. He, however, continues to work hard on perfecting his slides and stumps. When I put on that costume or when I'm about to go on stage, we're always, I'm always nervous. Because I'll be like, can I really do this? Can, I hope I don't flop. I hope the audience don't boo me out. And, but when I step on the stage, I just, I get overwhelmed. You understand? There is this confidence I gain in myself that, you know what, I can do this. Let's just entertain the crowd. Let me just relate with them. And all of a sudden, I just find myself doing it. Make a mistake on stage, you take advantage of it. That's what promotes that that professionalism in you. That's what promotes that originality in you. So whenever I lose my steps, whenever I go, I fall out of my routines or choreography. I just try my possible best to bring off using something different to make it look as if it's all choreographed to the to the routine. A student of graphic arts from the Yaba College of Technology, he must balance his studies with dance. I'm just like a regular guy, a regular student, like a normal classmate to everybody. So, and it's always overwhelming. And one good part of it is this, they are really encouraging. You know, your lecturers, your classmates, they always walk up to me, you know, give me words of advice, trying to tell me, okay, you know what, 
can you put your your dance can you try and transform it into maybe a design can you do something out of this can you think outside your box can you bring in something different that your audience haven't seen before and all of a sudden you just get to discover that it's all the whole thing is just art itself it's it's paying for all my tuition fees and other stuff and you know it's really putting good clothes on me so i give god the glory <laughs> DNNT is actually a happy family. Trust me, like, we always encourage people, even outside the profession of dance itself, we always make people understand the fact that if you believe in it, it will surely come to pass. So, we are always exciting, we are always lively, we are always together. Although dance started off as a hobby for these ones, they have not only made an impressive career out of it, they have through it taught some valuable life lessons on the recipe for success, which include consistency, tenacity, precision and hard work. <laughs>